All right, so uh, so today I was white against Alexei. Obviously, going into this game, it was very important. Um, I felt that I, I had to win if I wanted to contend for first place. Obviously, I could have drawn and maybe with the, with the easy pairings I have on the back end of the tournament, maybe I, I could catch up. But for, for all intents and purposes, I felt that if I wanted to win the tournament, I had to play for a win today. So I went into this game more or less with a must-win attitude. E4. And Alexei decided to play c5 today. Um, I kind of wonder if this was something of a mistake from him, because obviously, like I said, considering my situation, I needed to win. And for Alexei, a draw would have been a great result. So I think that it might have been the wrong decision to not play e5 against me today. But, all right. Obviously, Alexei knows the Sicilian quite well. So c6, e4, takes, takes, knight f6. Knight c3, e5, knight b5, d6, bishop g5, a6. And uh, so now I took on f6. Obviously, knight a3, b5, knight d5 is a whole other variation altogether. Um, maybe I should have played that in retrospect <coughs> because I did get surprised pretty much immediately. As here, Alexei played f5, which took me right out of my preparation. Um, at the same time, I don't think Alexei was necessarily prepared for this this variation either, as I, I've played just about everything with white. So more or less, at this point in the game, I felt that we were both simply playing chess, and that's really all, all that I can ask for in general. So now I played knight c4, Alexei played knight d4, and now I took on f5. These are more or less standard moves. Bishop takes f5, knight to e3. Now here Alexei played this, this move, bishop g6, which I think might be a little bit dubious. I, I was expecting something a little bit more, uh, more topical, like bishop e6, g3, bishop g7, bishop g2, and something like um, probably queen to d7 <coughs> with ideas of b5 and, and rook c8 later on. Something along these lines um, is what I was expecting. More or less, this, this in general has turned out to be a no, o, almost a normal Shveshnikov with the exception that the pawn is on b7, not b5 here. But I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference to the, the position. And maybe I, maybe I have a small positional advantage, but I think it's more or less a no, normal position. Instead, Alexei played bishop to g6. In this position... And, and now, now I played the move knight d5. And I think at th this was really the first uh, critical point in the game where I think that Alexei had two, or just on that feet, where Alexei had um, two two general ideas. One of them is to put the bishop on g7 or h6 and then continue with, with, with castles perhaps or the way that he played in the game. The other line which I was not entirely sure about was if he had simply played f5 right away. Because in this position, if I played the natural looking c3, I wasn't completely sure what was happening in this position after f4. So he takes d4, f takes e3, and now if, if I, for instance, if I take the pawn with the knight, black can play this move queen to a5. And maybe I have a small advantage in the resulting endgame after takes, takes king d2, he takes d4. Knight d5, but I, I wasn't able to find anything uh, concrete against the 